video, so... Love our 
Is Witcher on sale? Witcher 3 is on sale. Holy shit. And that's only 30 bucks for the whole uh, complete edition. That's a good buy. Naruto is on sale as well. Um, I already have it though. You got Tony Hawk is 20 bucks. There's so many games that you can buy that are discounted. Tell people this like when Nintendo does do like these little uh, even Ori is too, but when Nintendo does these little like uh, sales, you need to jump on them like ASAP. ASAP, let me drink uh, some my apple juice with my crackers. <laughs> Interesting. Mm -mm. I did not know Republic Commando was on sale. Dude, I'm so buying that. It's seven bucks. Fighter Z is on sale. Mega Man 11 is 9 bucks. Are you serious? This is like the best time to be buying Switch games, guys. Seriously. The Legacy, the Yu-Gi-Oh game is $10. Which I've played, but I haven't finished it, but... The whole collection of Bioshock is $20. But I swear to God, if I find Final Fantasy X, Quake is 4 bucks. That's the old one. Shin Megami is 41 These are really good deals, guys. If you have a Switch or if you know somebody that has a Switch, like, get them a Nintendo gift card or something. Because they can get a lot of games. Just think of your average game, which is like 60 bucks. Even Burnout Paradise is $10. You got Street Fighter 2, I think this is Turbo, or the new one. $20 normally. Even Star Wars Racer, as well as the Sonic Racer. What is going on? Why are they, everything's up. Even Kakarot is normally 60 bucks. It's $30 now, guys. The regular Witcher 3 is 20 bucks. Guys, for the price of like 60 bucks for a regular game, which I already have Jedi Knight Academy, but for the price for $60, let's just see what games you could get. Kame already got that. Which I still haven't really played. I, I always play Okami and then I just like bounce off of it. I don't know why. But let's see. For $60, bucks, what can you get? <gasps> they got the Grand Hill. I didn't even know they had this game. That is mind blowing. I did not know they had that game. Is this Star Wars or Jedi Knight 2? Yeah, I have that game. You know what? Let's go to bestsellers because bestsellers usually shows what's like the top that people get normally shredders revenge i heard it got like an 8 out of 10 mario strikers i'm not feeling that stardew valley never heard of it 
Fire Emblem uh, Warriors is a really good game. I played the demo. It's really good. I'm still playing it too. How the f is Minecraft still $30? These guys are making bank. Mario Kart is never going to go on sale. I don't care what anybody says. That game is a staple. You got Sonic Origins. You have Pokemon Arceus. Celeste Cuphead. You got Smash Brothers is never going to go on sale. These are just some of the games that I think are never going to go on sale. Harry Potter is up there. That just gives me another sign that I should buy that game. Animal Crossing, one of those games that will never go on sale. Mario's Odyssey. That's the game I'm really thinking of getting. Even though I've played it so many freaking times. Inside, I've played it. But look at this. Both Star Wars games are on here. And you got Mortal Kombat 11. See, normally it's 50 bucks. For Ultimate, you can get it for $15. Like, that's a no-brainer. That is a no-brainer. So let's see what's coming soon as well. So, um... Some new games, like, they're just not it, man. Like, or at least to me, they don't have that, like, it factor. You know? I don't know why it does that. Like, I was telling you guys, some of the reactions for the Nintendo, it's not, of course, like PS5, but... Hmm. But all in all, guys, I think your best bet. Let's see how many good games we can get with sixty bucks. Okay, so let's see. Harry Potter 10, that's one game. We can get Game of the Year Hades. Mortal Kombat Ultimate. So that's 30. Plus Harry Potter. 40. What do we got? $20 left? We got $20 left. We could either get... Hmm... I was going to say 2K22, but no. So we have $20 left. We could get... I got to get it. I got to see what would be good for value. We got $20 left. We could get... Mega Man? No. $20 left. We could get Republic Commando. That's what? Maybe eight? Let's just say seven dollars. That's thirteen dollars left. Thirteen dollars left. We could get Mega Man 11. What is that? Five games? Or we could just get Bioshock and say Scratch Mega Man and uh, Republic Commando. I think that'd be the smarter choice to buy the Bioshock collection because you get three games. Just look at this. You get three games with this. So the collection you get, I don't know if you guys have played Bioshock already, but it's 12.5 gigs. You get Bioshock Remastered, Bioshock 2, and you get Bioshock Infinite, the complete edition. So you basically get three games. So I basically would get seven games for 60 bucks. Look how good of a deal that is. That's ridiculous. 
I'm not saying you guys gotta do that, but I'm just saying there's deals to be had. And you could even get Burnout Paradise. I think I would do Burnout Paradise and... What, Mega Man? No, Burnout Paradise and, uh... The Knights of the Republic. Like, you could literally do that for 60 bucks. Like, seriously. We're gonna go back to the front. And these are just some of the games that I have. But, I have tons more. So. Tons more Final Fantasy 7 that I need to put on here again. Or, it's already downloaded. But, I mean, like... Come on, guys. The deals on here this month or this week is ridiculously good and they have Pokemon snapback so this was just like I said guys this was just another ASMR video so if you guys do like the little crunch Got that from Sass. Just letting you guys know. And I'm still reorganizing. What did you guys think of uh, Obi Wan? What did you guys think of Obi Wan Kenobi One? Anyways, leave me some uh, tips. I don't know. What do you guys want to see next? Um, <laughs> That's not this mic that uh, Trin told me about. And I actually bought it, so I have my Blue Yetis, but this mic is just good because I don't have to specifically talk right into the mic, you know? So, and I do gotta go pick up my Ahsoka. I, so, I totally forgot about that, but I will catch you guys on the next video. Juice and crackers, by the way, is legit.